Gabriel, what the f Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, we are doing concealers. I tested all the concealers in the world, like look at this. Swatched them all. Did my research. Years, years of research. So as a beauty guru, I get a lot of concealers from different brands, and I love it because I love makeup. Makeup just makes me happy. Oh, I love makeup. I noticed that I was getting too many concealers to the point where I was kind of like sticking to like only three and I wasn't using that many. So I need to declutter my concealers in the process. Instead of just like throwing stuff away, I decided to kind of create the list and go through them and kind of speak on the ones that I really liked. I'm giving you a top 10 and as to why I like each concealer. In every concealer, you're gonna see how many ounces it has, what the price point is, how many shades are within the shade range. Also, she was very happy. And so you're gonna get that as well. There's certain concealers you use to brighten. There's certain concealers you use to contour with. There's certain concealers that you only use as your skin tone. So if you wanna see this video full of concealers and me, everyone, then keep on watching. Look, look, look. Latina, don't you forget it. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about concealers, concealers, concealers. So I wanted to get rid of my concealers, but the video needs a little bit more meaning, it needs a little bit more purpose. It needs to be just a little bit more educational, but still very like, hi everyone. You know what I mean? Hi everyone. And the only reason why this video has any structure is because I'm going off of my little, my little spreadsheet. But see, I wrote all the concealers down so I wouldn't like forget. Thank God for organization, okay? Right now, makeup wise, I'm not wearing any other than my eyes. I was just like, well, okay, Gabriel, maybe you should just like fill in your brow a little bit. And then I feel like I just saw the Lion King and I was like inspired. Lashes are goddess by Lily Lashes. I need to put black liquid liner on the fucking thing. I know that's gonna bother me the entire video but i hope it bothers you too oh my god look and then it's lifting right here okay whatever let's get into these concealers as i tell you about the concealers i'm also gonna be swatching them on my face simply because i'm envisioning something in the end visually with just a bunch of colors on my face Liddy, everyone. So the first concealer that I want to show you, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and it looks like this. Full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. Girl, I did notes today. I looked up the prices, I looked up the ounces, how many shades of concealer something has. This is shade 31 Sand. $26, this is shade 35. Rich Amber. Okay, so one of the reasons why I like this concealer is it has hyaluronic acid in it, but it's also very thick. Not a mattifying concealer, it's so creamy. I like it for full coverage days. I like it for days where natural, like, you're not wearing makeup, are you? Yeah, oh my God, now it's on my shoulder. What the f Let's get to the next concealer, everyone. Can we get concealer number two on set? Concealer number two, where are you? Okay, so concealer number two is KKW Beauty's Liquid Concealer, that's what it's called. It's $18, but I don't know how many ounces. Wait, does it say it on here? The website doesn't say it but this says it, 0.162. Fun little fact, the It Cosmetics has a 24 month shelf life, while the KKW one has a 12 month shelf life. Ranges up to 16 shades. The only thing that I personally feel like sucks about KKW concealers, because they're so good, is that y'all can't really test them out. You kind of have to like order it online and it's kind of sometimes hard to pick your shade. But if you're close to my skin tone, let me swatch the two that I always use. This is shade 10 and 12. So here's 10. 10 is like diffused out into my skin tone. Shade 12 on days where I'm wearing like more foundation and I want a creamier look, then I'll do that. But on days where I'm just trying to make it look like I'm not wearing any makeup, I'll do this shade right here, 10. Next in line, we have good old faithful coming down on stage good old faithful mac cosmetics we have here the pro longwear concealer Kacha kernis what is what is Kacha kernis okay so here we have Kacha kernis <laughs> here we have miss pro longwear concealer from Kacha kernis she is 25 dollars. she is a total of 0.3 ounces oh i just spit on y'all and then they come in a shade range of six Tiny. Who the fuck talks like this? Okay, it's a full coverage matte finish 24 hour wear and you can also get it at Ulta. The reason why I love this concealer is simply because if you go back to my very first 
Oh, it's stuck. Today's the day it decides to be stuck. Oh my God, why are you gonna squirt? Don't squirt on me, baby. I like it generally in this area. Ooh! Oh, that's bright. The only thing I haven't found in this concealer is my skin tone shade, which will be my next mission. But they have 16 shades, so hopefully they have my shade. This is shade NC25. Look how bright that is. Oh, that's so bright. Hi everyone! So next up we have the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer Super Coverage. $29 and it has 0.5 ounces. And they have a shade range of 35 shades. This video, none of it is sponsored. Loki wish I was. But I was like, oh my God, I'm cleaning out my concealers. I was like, how do I make this informative? Okay, one of the reasons why I like this concealer is honestly because it's not matte and it's very full coverage. Look how creamy that is. Like, look how, it's just full coverage. Warm beige. Mm. Should we lower the lighting? Let's lower the lighting, y'all. Ooh, just more of a mood. Just skin. I keep forgetting I'm putting foundation on my shoulder! How is it that in a video all about concealers, I managed to call it foundation? Also have hyaluronic acid, and then also you can get this at Ulta, so you can probably go like swatch it up. Okay, the next concealer that I'm low-key obsessed with, I saw that they're going to Ulta soon, so you'll be kind of able to swatch it. La Sister Kylie. Okay, so here we have Kylie Cosmetics' Skin Concealer. These are $20 each and there's 0.22 ounces up in here. I have a shade range of 30. I did my research. They are gonna be in Ulta July 28th. And they say it's medium to buildable coverage. I definitely agree. So let's swatch it up everyone. Okay, so I have the shades. I only have two shades and this is shade Maple. And then this is in the shade Oak. Fully my skin. Hi everyone. What is she doing? She's filming everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. As I was talking about Kylie concealers, Kylie's makeup artist called. Did I even tell y'all what palette this was? So this one is the KKW So Fire palette. Just so fire. Like look, it's just so fire. This one though, you have to activate it with a wet brush. These two white right here. And then I wet my brush and then it literally did that. Like, isn't that so pretty? And we love a little good tangent, right? Okay, the best creamy concealer. Let's call a spade a spade. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is $30. It has 0.22 ounces and there's 22 shades from what I saw on the Ulta website. So here I have the shade Caramel. And then here's the shade Macadamia. So what I always tend to do with concealers is I tend to get just a lighter concealer as well as a very warming or sculpting type of concealer. Also get one that's my skin tone. I try to get at least those three types of shades. If I don't find one in one, it's totally fine. I can always kind of find it in another brand. It's just about what kind of consistency do you want. So with the NARS one, you're gonna get something just, it's in the name, it's a radiant creamy concealer. You're gonna get something very hydrating, something that's not gonna be very drying or self-setting or mattifying by any means, because there are mattifying concealers. Take that into consideration if you have a problematic under eye. Up next, we have good old Faithful right here. We have the Maybelline in New Instant New. Hasn't this been around? <clears throat> Let me get my notes. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer with Goju Berry and Haloxyl. <laughs> so this one is technically the most bang for your buck and it is drugstore. It retails for $9.99 on the Ulta website. It has 0.22 ounces, a total of 18 shades in their shade range. The eraser is protected by an antimicrobial cyst, microbial? Microbial system. So it's not supposed to get microbially. This was in here too. 
So this one is in the shade Golden. We have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer. I like this concealer. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. The only thing is that it is a more full coverage concealer. I use it more on days where I'm doing a full coverage look. Like if I'm doing a full coverage look, I'll use this concealer. $22 and there are 31 colored shades and then two other ones that are like color corrector shades. So the one thing about it is that it has 20% pigment. Bright. And it just looks like a fantasy. Like it just looks like a fantasy. But it does have, I think like the least amount of ounces, 0.115. So technically this is the lowest amount of product you get. Don't overset this. It's simply because it is self setting. Good old motherfucking bagful. Tarp Shape Tape Contour Concealer. Here we have one of the most iconic concealers ever. Just ever. Like ever. Dude, when I was looking it up, it's called the Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Contour Concealer. It is $27, 33 ounces, and it comes with 30 different shades. It is a full coverage matte matte concealer. It is vegan and you can get it at Ulta. If you are oily, these type of concealers are gonna be ideal if you're wanting to wear your makeup for like, let's say you're going to work and you're like, fuck, I gotta go to work. You wanna wear makeup, so you want it to last all day because you're like, if I'm a stunt, like I want the stunt to like remain, you know? I don't wanna just arrive looking cute and then in like three, four hours, my shit starts to break up and I gotta go like touch up or Touch up every two hours. What shades are these? These are both medium, but they look totally different. <laughs> this one looks more, I don't know. It was one of the first like hella just like IG baddie, like full coverage. Like this shit lasts all day. Like it lasts all day, like all day. I'm just like so excited to shower you guys. If you're gonna get one that you want to consider your like work concealer. Okay, I gotta go to work order. If you're gonna be doing your makeup all day, every day, and you just want something that's gonna be effective all day, every day, gonna last you all day at work, Tarte Shape Tape. Like, it's just, it's gonna get the job done. Iconic! Iconic! So there's an issue with this concealer. I personally feel. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I live for this concealer, okay? As I was swatching it up, I was like, oh my God, I love! Like this one beat out the Jouer concealer for me. Simply because I'm like, yo, this is e.l.f. Like this gotta be mad cheap, like mad cheap. Like this is technically better. Baby boy, baby boy. Like be some own. like oh my God. I wanna show you how beautiful it is before I tell you what the issue is. <laughs> I don't know if it lasts 16 hours. I'm, get I'm hoping that it does, right? This is what it looks like. 0.2 ounces, which seems to be the standard. You get a doe foot applicator. Where can I swatch this? I'm running out of real estate. Look how full coverage that is. Um, no, 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 what was I gonna say? Covered! Tan sand. That one was medium beige. And then this right here is medium sand, which is mucho light. Like, why? Every time I hear period, I just gotta yell. Like, I just gotta yell. Period! <laughs> period! Oh, it also has 18 shades, which pretty high if you think about it. My only issue with it was finding it online. Although there's 18 shades, 10 of those shades are online only, the darker spectrum. And then also the price point was like five or six dollars. Go to the Ulta website <laughs> and a look at what they charge, what they charge. I'm just saying like, it, that was the only weird thing. And then Target only had two shades. Like it's difficult to get this concealer, but it's so good. Those were all my favorite concealers. I feel like those are the best concealers right now at the moment, but that is only on July 22nd, 2019. You know, my, my opinion might change one day, you know? I mean, I did see that I got in the mail the new Natasha Denona concealers. 
I haven't played with those. Ew, it's getting everywhere and it's still on my shoulder. If you like this video and you like this decluttering kind of just the top, what I feel are some of the best products and you would like to see it next for like bronzers, blushes, and highlights. The powders, ooh, the powders, cause we could even include um, setting powders. I'll give you like the top five of like, sorry everyone. Um, I'll give you the top five of each category of like bronzers, blushes, highlights, and setting powders. Let's get this video up to 10,000 likes and I'll do that video. I'm totally down. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be notified exactly. Well, actually no, you have to hit the notification bell to be notified exactly when I upload a new video. Oh, I can see my reflection in that. This is the end, everyone. Period! Okay, bye, everyone! Oh, this collection's like low-key bomb. Even the gloss, this is flammable. It's like this orangey, but like I just kept it in the center. Look how pretty that is.